question. Is it time uh, for proportional representation? Something tells me that this young man to my right, David Kerton of the Heritage Party, will say yes. Well, I'm glad you called me a young man, thank you, but absolutely yes, absolutely. It's time for proportional representation. The thing with the first-past-the-post um, first, first um, system is it's out of date. It works very well if you only have two parties or two candidates standing in a seat, but, you know, we have three, four, five, six candidates now in every seat in a general election, and that means that most people who vote for most candidates don't get any representation whatsoever. And then people tend to vote tactically but negatively. They vote for somebody to keep out who they don't want. So people vote more to keep someone out rather than for voting who they really, really want. You know, so a lot of people will vote for someone like me in the Heritage Party and our candidates, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't get, a, you know, they might not do that because they think, oh, well, we've got to vote Tory to keep out Labour because if we don't do that, it's going to be worse. I mean, I would say that there isn't really much difference today between Tory, Labour, Lib Dem, Green. They're all sort of following the same agenda. But proportional representation would actually give a chance for people to vote positively and get representation and every vote would count in that case, rather than only, say, 40, 50 percent of votes. So big